Hi there, it's Ziv from Elementor. Today, I will show you how to use the My Account widget. The My Account page is an important part of any e-commerce website. This is where your customers can view their orders, manage shipping and billing information, as well as other important account details. With Elementor's My Account widget, you can fully customize the design of this page, making sure it matches the rest of your site. Let's check it out. When you install WooCommerce, it automatically generates shop pages for your store's functionality. I've edited this page in Elementor, but still need to design it. By default, it will look something like this, because it's set to display it with shortcode. That's where Elementor's My Account widget comes into play. It enables you to customize this page however you like. First off, in tabs, you can set the general layout. Horizontal places them next to each other, with the information displayed under it. You can adjust the spacing and set the tab's position. The vertical layout places them side by side. So go ahead and choose the one that best fits your design. Next, you can rename the different items in the account menu, giving it a personal touch. Once you're done with the layout and the content, head over to the Style tab, where you can design the different elements of the widget, making sure it matches your brand. In Tabs, I'll set the typography for the names. I'll also style the background and change the color. Next, I'll give it a border Adjust the padding a bit, as well as the spacing. You can also add a divider if you like. I'm going for this cool border concept though. These tabs are a bit like buttons. You can style them for the normal, hover and active states. For hover, I'll give it a darker border and text color. Cool. For active, I'll do the same. So it's clear which tab is selected. Great, we're done with the tabs. Let's move on to sections. Here, you can control the overall style of the detail sections. I'll change the background color and remove the default border too. This widget applies some padding automatically, but since there's already a gap here and I'm using the same background color, I'll remove it by setting the padding to zero. Next, let's style the typography of the detail section. Some of them don't display section titles or other details. So to make it easier to style, try moving between tabs to see the changes. I'll open the orders tab so you can follow along. I'll make sure the section titles are more readable by changing the color and typography. I'll adjust the spacing too. You can also style the general text. The login messages and checkboxes appear whenever an unregistered or logged out user visits the page. I'll give them the same style as the general text. Also, make sure to set the right colors for the links on this page. I'll open the Dashboard tab so you can see. Next, it's time to style the forms. I'll open the Personal Details tab so you can follow along. You might already be familiar with these options if you've worked with our form widget before. You can style this part just like any other form on your site. I'll go ahead and style the labels and add some spacing. Next, I'll make some tweaks to the fields.
and I'll add a border here as well. But set it to only show at the bottom, like so. No form is really complete without styling its pattern. Let's do that now. I'll set the button's text style first. Then the background. And I'll add a border too. So it blends nicely with the rest. Last but not least, you can style the order details over here. This will also affect the design of the Downloads tab, if you have set that to display on your site. You can set the rows gap, style the titles and totals, as well as the items, which affect the quantity and price details. If you've set up variations, you can style them too. Next is the product link. You can set the color for both normal and hover states. You can also change the color and weight of the dividers between the products. I'll set it to none for this design. There's one more element that needs styling, the order again button. Go ahead and style it like any other one. Ok, now that we're done customizing for desktop, let's see what it looks like on mobile. Looks quite good already. Just like any other widget, settings with device icons can be tweaked for various screen sizes. I'll go ahead and add some space between these two elements. Perfect. One last thing. Let's check out the WooCommerce settings in Site Settings. Here, you can set your shop pages right from in the editor. Simply search for the pages you want your visitors to be sent to. Note that when you drag in a new My Account widget and save the design, you'll be prompted with this message asking if you want to save it as your My Account page. Your changes automatically sync with WooCommerce. Well, that's it. Now you know how to use the My Account widget to fully customize the design of the page. Go ahead, try it out, and show us your awesome designs in the comments below. As always, have fun creating, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now!